there is a good place to start reading the Bible. For starters, it is important to realize that the Bible is not an ordinary book that reads smoothly from cover to cover. It is actually a library, or collection, of books written by different authors in several languages over 1,500 years. Martin Luther said that the Bible is the cradle of Christ because all biblical history and prophecy ultimately point to Jesus. Therefore, any first reading of the Bible should begin with the Gospels. The Gospel of Mark is quick and fast-paced and is a good place to start. Then you might want to go on to the Gospel of John, which focuses on the things Jesus claimed about himself. Mark tells about what Jesus did, while John tells about what Jesus said and who Jesus was. In John are some of the simplest and clearest passages, but also some of the deepest and most profound passages. Reading the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, will familiarize you with Christ's life and ministry. After that, read through some of the Epistles, Romans, Ephesians, Philippians. They teach us how to live our lives in a way that is honoring to God. When you start reading the Old Testament, read the book of Genesis. It tells us how God created the world and how mankind fell into sin, as well as the impact that fall had on the world. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy can be hard to read because they get into all the laws God required the Jews to live by. While you should not avoid these books, they are perhaps better left for later study. In any case, try not to get bogged down in them. Read Joshua through Chronicles to get a good history of Israel. Reading Psalms through Song of Solomon will give you a good feel for Hebrew poetry and wisdom. The prophetic books, Isaiah through Malachi, can be hard to understand as well. Remember, the key to understanding the Bible is asking God for wisdom James. 1-5. God is the author of the Bible, and he wants you to understand his word. It is important to know that not everyone can be a successful Bible student. Only those with the necessary qualifications for studying the Word can do so with God's blessings. Are you saved by faith in Jesus Christ? 1 Corinthians 2 14 16. Are you hungering for God's Word? 1 Peter 2 2. Are you diligently searching God's Word? Acts 17 11. If you answered yes to these three questions, you can be sure that God will bless your efforts to know Him and His Word no matter where you start and no matter what your method of study. If you are not sure that you are a Christian that you have been saved by faith in Christ and have the Holy Spirit within you you will find it impossible to understand the meaning of the words of Scripture. The truths of the Bible are hidden from those who have not come to faith in Christ, but they are life itself to those who believe. 1 Corinthians 2 13 14, John 6, 63.